Congratulations, Scott Brown, on winning the election. You will now be sworn in as the new senator from Massachusetts. The Republican from Massachusetts by the name of Scott Brown, a relatively unknown, had beat a Democratic challenger by the name of Martha Coakley, an attorney general for the state. Um, Martha Coakley had a strong lead, but down in the middle of December and January up to the election, um, Martha Coakley had some missteps. And fueled by the power of Google, talk radio, Fox News, and conservative activists, Scott Brown easily defeated Martha Coakley, and it defeated the supermajority of the Democratic Party. The Democrats now have 57 Democratic senators and two independents. Now, on to the issue of the video. Thank you for watching me on YouTube. The title of this video is Brown Meets Red, Pulling Out the Reeds. Senator Harry Reid was in a controversy earlier this year when he had been admitted that in a book called Game Change, he had said some inappropriate comments about the president. He said that the president had no Negro dialect and he can easily get along with people. Of course, he backpedaled and apologized. Now, the president had misstepped on Las Vegas. He was out in New Hampshire talking about the economy and how people have to save money and not spend it on Vegas. Um, now, the independent mayor of Las Vegas, Oscar Goodman, has called out the president and said that he's not welcome in his town. And Senator Harry Reid and Senator John Ensign, both with scandals ahead, um, both condemned the comments and the president apologized quickly to the state and the people that reside in Las Vegas. Uh, the Democratic Party, boy, I'll tell you, they had a majority and they lose this majority to the anger of the Tea Party movement. All this conservative activism from talk radio, Fox News, and many other blogs, and of course the people who post comments on YouTube have gotten out of hand. In the Daily Coast poll, um, the Research 2000 had conducted a poll with the Republicans, and most Republicans think that the president is a socialist. Not only a socialist, they think that he is a communist. They think that he's a not naturally born in America. They think that he is um, a racist and many other connotations that involve this incivility of discourse. The president had tried to work with the Republicans. He even went to the Republican retreat in Baltimore and he had talked to the Republicans about some of their concerns and also had it aired live on television. Well, I must have been doing a good job because Fox News cut off the feed and CNN and MSNBC had kept it going. But when he went to the Democratic retreat, MSNBC cut it off, Fox News didn't air it, and CNN ran it through. So what does that tell you? CNN is the most trusted name in news. Not Fox, not MSNBC. However, with the Republicans channeling in the victories in Virginia, New Jersey, the Senate race in Massachusetts, it seems now that the Democrats are having really trouble trying to stay together. Senator Blanche Lincoln of Arkansas, Senator Evan Bayh of Indiana, and um, the, the appointed ones like Ted Kaufman of Delaware, the senator who was uh, replaced Joe Biden in his seat, and Roland Burris, the senator from Illinois who replaced the president in his seat. Um, they are up for grabs for the Republicans to take. The Republicans seem to be gaining momentum in even Nevada. Senator Harry Reid may have more money, but that doesn't mean much when the people sour on your policies and you sour on your way of handling things. This is not a Democratic or Republican issue in Nevada. It's just an unemployment issue and a home foreclosure crisis. The Democrats need to really step their game up. We were promised health reform. We were promised to end the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. We were promised to close Gitmo. We were promised to have civility. And unfortunately, with Republicans souring on it and some of the Democrats and some of the activists in the media, it seems like the incivility has gotten out of hand. Even those who post comments at the bottom of my page when I'm doing these videos, they got the nerve to call me everything out of the book. Now, I tried to be nice with some of these people, but unfortunately, you can't be nice with people you can not agree with. I mean, this is the country that we're in. It's getting more partisan. And thanks to the anger of this so-called Tea Party movement, um, the former governor, Sarah Palin, is about to speak at the Tea Party convention Saturday in Nashville, Tennessee. 
many of the Tea Party activists from the grassroots up are upset because they can't get in because they got to pay nearly $550. Well, this is what you get when you support the Republican Party and you channel your anger into their offices and then you want to blame the Democratic president for some of the mess that the former president left us. This has been one of the most disastrous years for American politics. It's now becoming one of these, like, I got your back. No, you don't have my back mentality. I mean, this is what's going on in America. We need to grow up. We need to practice civility. If you can't practice civility by agreeing with those you don't agree with, then that's your choice. I mean, the facts are out there. I mean, there's thousands of blogs out there. The Huffington Post, Red State, The Drudge Report, Michelle Malkin, um, Talking Points Memo. All these blogs are nothing but channeling anger and they're channeling your thoughts. And then they're posting embarrassing stories about people on their pages. And then you get the nerve to type up comments. <sighs> Obama still got a strong African-American support base. And many of them think that all this anger and negativity involves the race issue. Many of the white voters who are souring on President Obama think that he's letting down the voters by not passing gay rights. He's not passing um, the, the issues that matter like, uh, well, torture and uh, prosecuting Bush administration officials. This is something that the liberal base wants. They want to prosecute Bush members and they want to give gay rights to all of all the people and repeal the don't ask, don't tell law. I mean, this is a lot of stuff to fix. We got unemployment under 10% now. It's under like 9.7% right now. But that doesn't mean that people like me are still trying to find second jobs or trying to find full-time jobs or trying to find stable jobs. <sighs> Democrats, y'all need to really set your game up. I mean, you got a majority. The Republicans can obstruct all day. They can obstruct all night. It doesn't matter. The Republicans can channel into this anger of the Tea Party movement. But it's going to backfire because many people should not trust what a politician says. I can't trust what the president says. I can't trust what Congress says or I can't trust what you say. I mean, you just got to take your own thoughts and you put it out there and you post it on YouTube. Senator Harry Reid, boy, you're a toast. If you can't pass health care reform, why, why, why have you as the leader of the party?